New advances, uh, no matter how great they are, often create new clinical situations and new unmet medical needs. And that's happened in CLL medicine with the advent of kinase inhibitor therapy. Remarkably effective for the majority of patients, but there's still a significant number of patients who will relapse after those therapies or be discontinue because they're intolerant. So a new drug, venetoclax, an oral inhibitor, uh, BCL2, was recently approved here in the United States for treatment of CLL with deletion 17P <clears throat> relapsing after at least one prior therapy. And that drug has a unique mechanism of action distinct from ibrutinib or idelalisib that makes it interesting to assess in, in the context of treatment failure after those drugs. So this study was a phase two um, study of single agent venetoclax in two parallel cohorts of patients. One, a group of patients <coughs> progressing after or during treatment with ibrutinib, and a second cohort of patients progressing after or during treatment with idelalisib. In fact, the majority of patients, about 43 patients treated in the ibrutinib arm, progressed during ibrutinib treatment. On the other hand, the majority of patients treated in the idelalisib arm were treated after uh, discontinuing ibrutinib for um, reasons of toxicity or tolerance. So slightly different um, groups of patients. Overall, um, venetoclax was highly effective in both groups of patients. In the ibrutinib arm, where patients had been on treatment longer, the overall response rate was 70%, 62% in the arm after prior treatment with idelalisib, and that compares favorably with um, prior studies of single-agent venetoclax and relapsed refractory CLL, um, many of whom um, had not ever been exposed to a kinase inhibitor.